What is happening guys welcome back to another video in my channel so in today's video i'm going to share with you my top 10 tips for shopify dropshipping whether you are a complete beginner or you're a little bit advanced this is my best advice that i can give you just before we start guys as always make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you will not miss out any future content as well as make sure to follow me on instagram where i post pretty much daily and last but not least if you want to download a full free case study about my first winning shopify store check out the first or second link in the description below so with that being said guys let's start with a video all right so for some of you that don't know i'm doing a lot of private coaching and coaching groups and i meet with a lot of drop shippers on a daily basis and there are multiple really obvious mistakes that a lot of those drop shippers are doing and things that actually repeat themselves so if you are one of the drop shippers that still didn't see the success yet and really struggling with your shopify drop shipping journey you are probably doing one of the following mistakes all right so tip number one is pick the right product for your budget now i see so many drop shippers coming in start selling a product they see good product on facebook ads it has like good engagement and everything and they started selling it maybe even started selling it like breaking even from the first days or maybe a little bit profitable but the problem is that this product is too expensive for them now what do i mean by expensive for them let's say you have a budget of 300 up to 500 dollars you don't want to sell a product that costs 60 70 80 or even 100 dollars you want to start with a cheaper product because most of the time you are going to fail with your first shopify dropshipping store you have to take that in consideration that maybe you even have to test 10 products until you find your winning product so if you are going to sell high price product you will have to spend more money on facebook ads and you can burn out all your budget just within the testing phase all right tip number two find a product with high perceived value that you can source for a really really cheap price or just a cheap product that most likely people will purchase more than one quantity from all the stores that i'm running for myself and for my students i see that this is kind of make or break your business that you need really to find a product that has really low price and high perceived value or a product that has like multiple colors multiple variations that you can upsell the same product most likely your customer is going to purchase more than one i would say a good ratio it's going to be like finding a product that you can source for maybe five up to ten dollars and sell it anywhere around thirty dollars an average or a product that you can source also for maybe five three to five dollars and your customers most likely will purchase maybe two three or four units of the same product tip number three is analyze your facebook ads data and understand where people are falling off and try improving your sales funnel now i don't know how to even say that that it's going to be more clear facebook ads give you all the information that you need and really can pinpoint exactly where and why people are not buying so people are rushing in to start launching facebook ads spend money on a product and then after a few days they just see that they don't make money and then they just switch to the next product and the next product and the next product now guess what every time that you're going to switch to the next product it's not going to work it's going to work the same way it's most likely that you will not be able to create the best website the best offer the best upsell and the best video ad from the first go so this is why you have to know how to analyze all the sales funnel exactly understand where people are falling off why they are falling off test new things try to improve your offer your website your video ad your everything and you will see that your results are going to get get much much better now i'm not saying that it's going to 100 take you to a profitable position but i can tell you from my experience a lot of products and stores that i've launched maybe started with losing a little bit money or breaking even and instead of just skipping to the next product what i did is just analyze the funnel i looked at where exactly people are falling off what can i do to change it and improve it and guess what boom it became a winning product so most of the time it's because you don't invest enough time to actually make your product your offer and everything to be actually perfect tip number four never focus on your first product offer now guys you need to understand that this is like a simple tactic or strategy that most and all successful brands are using never try to just focus on your like this 
one product that he is going to make you the most uh, amount of money this is why you can see so many other successful dropshippers or other companies suggesting you to focus on email marketing to increase your average order value and the reason for that is because your first product or offer should just attract the customer and make him to pull out the credit card and give you the money and after he does that your mission is to make sure that he spends the most amount of money possible with you you are probably familiar with this sales tactic and you know that a lot of like even like walmart and like places like that really bringing you in the business with this amazing offer which they're probably not making any money but they're actually money that they are making is after you already inside the store you already took something so you're going to take another thing that maybe is related to the same product or maybe you're going to get an email like in two weeks and you will come back to the store and purchase something without spending anything on facebook ads to get you back to the store again so this is where you make the money so you never focus on your first product you try to bring them to the store purchase that product and you always, always try to upsell them and make them spend as much money as possible with you. The only hardest part in sales, online, offline, is for the customer to actually take out the credit card. And when he does that, it's going to be the easiest, easiest point for you to sell them another thing. Tip number five, focus on your first three to five seconds of your video and not that much on the rest of the video. If you have ran uh, multiple stores so far with Shopify, and you know how to in average analyze the facebook ads data you'll probably see that the average video view time is going to be anywhere between three to five seconds now if you do have like a really good video maybe it can be like between seven to ten percent that is rarely rarely happen this tip is extremely easy to understand you can see that the average is three to five seconds people are actually watching the video so focus on that i see so many people focusing to have this one minute long or 30 seconds long or having all those like cool things in the video when in matter of fact people are just watching the first three to five seconds of the video this should be your main 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 focus when you're creating your video ad if you want the customers to see the whole video and the everything that you created about this product you can put it on your product page and then they can actually see the whole video but facebook ads is supposed to attract your, your customer it's your marketing tool you should get them to your website where you there you actually sell your product Product. Tip number six. So understand that you are selling to people and not bots. Again, something that I see all the time, people think that they are going to tweak something in the Facebook ads, that there is like a secret button that you can click and just sales will just pour in into your pocket it's not happening this is why I, I talked about analyzing your facebook data guys you are selling to real people it's not bots it's not my dog you actually selling to real people so you need to at least have an average understanding how to sell to people you you have to have that those things that website design and facebook ads those are supposed to be technical in my business my facebook ad strategy and the way that i designed the, the website actually not me designing i have a designer that does that it's the same process all the time i have the same websites with the same templates my facebook ads is the same thing but guess what even if i'm using the same things all over again some products will have different results and some of them even will start with worse results and then will improve it why because i understand that i sell to people so i try to improve my offer as much as i can i try to increase my average order value and not thinking that okay i'm, I'm going to have this crazy ultra method on facebook and that is what is going to make the change in my business it's not tip number seven invest more time in finding your winning product and deciding to go with it i see so many people and i did that mistake myself you see this cool product on facebook ads on your feed and you see that this like a, a crazy amount of engagement and you're saying like wow this is a winning product they are making money i want to start selling it before doing any kind of research whatsoever this is a complete newbie beginner uh, mistake that most of people that even not beginner do this mistake when it comes to choosing your right product to sell this is 100% supposed to be a logic decision not emotional decision now what do I mean by that is for example when I'm working on one of my stores or student stores I'm always kind of checking okay what is the budget that we're going to work with so only with that I'm picking the price range of the product that I'm going to search for now 
Now, the next thing can be checking your competition. Go and check in on Google to find different Shopify stores. Go into Amazon, see like how many sellers there are on Amazon and overall understand what is the supply and what is the demand of the product. Those main things people are not doing. You can also check your product in the Google Trends or the product that related to the niche and see if this niche is maybe something related to the summer and people maybe because it's sold really good in the last few months, then they think that on the September, it's still when products start selling it without doing any kind of research and then they don't understand why it's not working. That is something that I really want to stress and explain you that you should be extremely picky with your product. This is why most of products that I pick are working really, really good and you can be profitable with them. But the reason for that is because it can take me days, if not weeks, just to find this one product because this product is going so much in-depth analytics research process. So at the end, when I'm going to test the product, I have much, much better results than most of dropshippers. All right, tip number eight, stop trying selling everything. That is something that is really, really common. Like most of people that come to me for like private coaching, they come up with those general stores. They try testing everything that they possibly can, spending money on this, spending money on that. They don't even know that they actually need to divide the pixel data that they have for let's say beauty customers or fitness customers. And they're just like shooting themselves in the food. Not only that, their store is looking so ugly because there's like a bunch of mess over there. And especially if you are a beginner, you don't have a clue how to design like a good looking store. So having like so many products in your store and probably without any kind of description, why do you think that that is going to work? The main question that I ask them all the time and the answer is always no, is I ask them, would you buy from a website like this? And they tell me, no way, N not ever. So again, you are selling to real people. You are not selling to like imaginal aliens or something like that. If you think that you are not going to buy from a store like this, why should somebody else buy from you? Try to do something at least that look decent. Tip number nine, yeah, nine. Invest some time in your website. Guys, there are so many free YouTube, one hour, two hours, three, four, five, ten 10 hours courses, free courses on YouTube that can show you exactly how to design at least a decent looking store. This tip is similar to the, the previous one. If you will not say to yourself that I would purchase from that store, nobody else is going to purchase from that store. Personally for myself, my store, I treated like this is the meeting place where I actually sell my product. On Facebook ads, as we talked before the average video view is three to five seconds so you can't actually sell your product on the video you sell your product in the store my stores have really good uh, conversion rates because i really really invest time in my store the, like thinking how i'm going to structure things how i'm going to price that how i'm going to put the discount pricing table here i'm really investing time in my store because this is where you sell the product, not on Facebook, you sell it on your store. Now, I'm not saying that you should be like this uh, professional designer or something like that. That is not the point but at least make something that will look decent. Something that you will say to yourself that, all right, this is the best I did. But most people just are too lazy, don't want to invest. They listen to those things that, oh, there are so many dropshipping stores that look so ugly and make money. Yes, they probably make money, but they have way more knowledge than you in marketing, Facebook marketing, Google marketing, email marketing. And trust me, they probably not making any money whatsoever on the front end. All the money that they are making, they're making on the back end. Now, the easiest way for you to become better at website design is just do that try to design one good looking website then try another time another time another time and me myself i never knew how to design a, a good looking website but today i can put up extremely extremely professional looking website probably exactly like my designer but all of that happened with exercising having more experience doing that multiple 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 times all right last but not least 10 all right, this is probably going to be one of the most important tips for you to maintain and scale your business. It's going to be doing good customer service and take care of your customers so you will not get banned, not on Facebook and not with your payment processor. Now, this is like, for me, it's like obvious to do like good customer service because this is a real business. I treat it as a real business and I really care about my customers. But most of people think that this is, I don't know, like a video game or just maybe a hobby or something like that, that you just make money from the job shipping you ship out the products and you know that's it 
you don't need to do anything else. They, they're not replying to customer uh, email. They don't focus on building like a customer service team. This is, I think, by far one of the top reasons why you can get banned on Facebook and with your payment processor. And it's, it's not going to be because your customer had like a problem with the product. It's going to be because they didn't get a reply from you. Most of the time, I'm talking like 90% of the time, people will go and apply for chargebacks, complain on Facebook when you don't answer them fast enough. Some of you don't answer them at all and some of you take like a week to answer. So I mean like think about yourself when you do purchase something from maybe like a new website or even let's take Amazon you do purchase from there because you know that you you can rely on their customer service you're going to get like good customer experience and guess what like a lot of times things happen right shit happens so even if things going wrong you can always always solve the things and the problems with your customers directly without them going to Facebook and your payment providers and this way you're going to be any kind of bans and disabling free all right guys so these are my 10 top tips that I think that can really, really help you to increase your conversions or get more success on Shopify. I hope you like this video. If you did first, make sure you punch that like button and comment down below if you want more uh, videos like this or me more kind of sharing personal advices or questions that I see coming up all the time. As much as these videos are uh, more boring than like winning products or challenges, I think that these are the best and most educational videos out there. So that's it for now, guys. For don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you will not miss out any future content follow me on instagram where i post pretty much daily and obviously if you want to download a full case study of my first winning shopify store you have the second or the first link in the description make sure you check that out that is another awesome way to learn and improve your shopify skills thank you so much for watching guys and until next time my friends peace